Christmas everybody! You've all been so patient waiting for my holiday craft videos to start, so let's go! For today's video, I redid my background to be all holiday themed, so I'm going to take you through all of the crafts that I made, but first, a montage. <laughs> The first thing I made was more tiny hats. You can never have too many tiny hats. You may remember from my Thanksgiving video when I made the Doctor and the Ood and Bubble John tiny pilgrim hats and bonnets. Well this year I gave the Doctor a Santa hat, the Ood some reindeer antlers, and Bubble John an elf costume. Look at how cute he is! I feel bad that I don't really have patterns for you for all of these, but the truth is that I just kind of started gluing paper and cutting it, and so I couldn't really make patterns out of that. But they're all pretty simple to make, and I'll have tons of close-up photos on my blog if you want to try to duplicate it. All of the fake snow is really just this leftover spider webs from Halloween. They're just still all bunched up and not really pulled apart, and I think it works fine. But fake snow is the kind of snow that I like. I am so happy to be living in California where I never have to deal with snow again. On to the posters. This idea actually started in college. My roommates and I would always decorate my Harry Potter poster for every single holiday. So for the guild poster, I gave Codex a Santa hat and a fur collar, and Will Whedon reindeer ears and a Rudolph nose. And I put a bow and name tag on his sword. I just think it's so funny, and it's so easy to do, and it's a way to add holiday spirit without having to completely replace all of the decorations in your house. And then finally, for the finishing touch, I gave both posters a ribbon border that I literally just used double stick tape to stick onto the frame. It really livens them up for the holiday season. So the paper chain was really easy to make. It's really just like those paper chains you would make as a kid for birthday parties. But if you use all one color and smaller uniform loops, suddenly it becomes a more grown-up decoration too. So I just cut up cardstock into pieces that were a little less than an inch by about five and a half inches, and then I just hot glued the loops together so you wouldn't see any staples or tape which can look messy. Not everything went according to plan though. I had wanted to make a mini Christmas tree to put up here, and I did make one, but I made it out of cut up cereal boxes, which probably wasn't the strongest material, so whenever I tried to put the ampersand ornaments on it, it just kept tipping over. So I postponed this project for now. Maybe I can save it. Maybe I'll start over. I will keep you updated on my tumbler. But back to the ornaments. These ampersand ornaments would look really nice on a real tree, and they're really easy to do. If you've bought the ampersand necklace that I am now selling on DFTBA, just remove the chain and then put a wire loop through the jump ring, and there you go, instant ornament. And once the holidays are over, you can always just take the wire loop out and put it back on the chain, and it's a necklace again. So speaking of ampersands, I had a few extras, so I put them all over the displays to add a bit more shininess and typography. And then for the finishing touch, I took a bunch of the these clear containers I have, and filled them with holiday garlands and colored glass stones. It's really festive, and it's really easy. It literally takes like two seconds. Same with the wine bottles. I just put some of those sparkly pipe cleaners in them, and all of a sudden they look really festive and sparkly. So that's everything for this video, but this display is not finished yet. I have so many other crafts I want to do, but I forced myself to hold off so that I could actually finish this video. I still have to use these price tags for something, maybe a wreath, and I have to figure out something to do with all of these pieces from the insides of the ampersands. So stay tuned to this channel for more Christmas craft videos, and also to my Tumblr where I may be posting some bonus craft tutorials. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Link to a blog post is down below if you want to see more close-up photos of everything I've shown here. And again, if you want to buy the ampersand necklace I'm wearing, or a keychain version of it, they are available now at DFTBA, link down below. So if you missed my last video, it was my holiday gift guide for graphic designers. You can watch that right here. And if you want to see how I made these ampersand necklaces, you can watch that video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. so that you can actually see the background behind me. I've been wearing four-inch heels. That's my real height. I feel really short.